Blessed we are. Our Creator God, our Living God, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the Lion of Judah. the root of david the unending mercy as jesus is with us the holy one the true who holds the key of david who opens and no one shall close who closes and no one shall open holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty who was and who is and who is to come My dear brothers and sisters let us thank the Lord for this blissful moment It is his plan and will that brought us to this moment of adoration to this prayer of thanksgiving Let us focus our eyes to the Eucharistic Jesus who is fully alive who is fully present before us let us enter into his presence let us adore him let us worship him with a heart of gratitude with a mind of thanksgiving with a soul longing for his presence lord we adore you we worship you we glorify you.
Gospel of John Chapter 1 Verse 1 Scripture reminds us In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. Dear Jesus, we do realize as we come close to the end of the year 2022 whatever we have received in our life is through you only you are the cause of our blessings You are the cause of our joy. You are the reason of our life. At this moment, as we look back to our past days of life, Jesus, we do realize how amazingly you guided us. You provided everything we have needed in our life. Lord, we do recall you protected us when we were sick, especially in the pandemic of COVID. You helped us to survive when we were weak. You filled our life with unending mercy when we were failed. Law, it was your presence that strengthened us in our loneliness, in our brokenness, in our painful moments. Lord, we thank you. 
for your paternal care for your motherly love for your faithfulness yes jesus we want to declare there is none like you jesus there is no one like you only you can love us unconditionally only you can forgive our sins only you can fill us with your love law help us to enter into your presence your love we long to be with you jesus we love you we praise you we adore you you are my strength when i am weak you are the treasure of first chronicles chapter 16 verse 34 scripture tells us give thanks to the lord who is good whose love endures forever again in the book of psalms 103 verse 2 holy spirit reminds us bless the lord my soul do not forget his gifts who pardons all your sins and heals all your ills who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with mercy and compassion
Er ist Jesus. Wenn wir look back our life, especially the year 2022, our hearts are filled with the gratitude. It's beyond words. No words can express our thanks, Lord. Your blessings are far beyond that. But still, in these moments of adoration, we want to express our gratitude. Lord, we do realize all the blessings, all the movements, all the happiness that we ever experienced is from you only. Lord, we remember the moments of brokenness, the moments of misunderstanding, the days of despair. the moments of depression the pain we underwent in a broken relationship we have no idea where to go where to move when we were under the clutches of financial debt there are there are moments where we felt everything is going to end in those struggles in those difficulties lord you came to our life to redeem us to strengthen us to empower us as lord we declare that you are truly emmanuel a god who walks by our side a god who empowers us from within a god who comes to our life in the form of a eucharistic bread in our daily mass a god who waits for us in confession to forgive our sins lord we want to thank you lord we want to praise you we glorify your mighty name scripture tells us when you thank god for the manifold gifts the spirit of the lord renews your life yes thanksgiving renews our life your youth is renewed like the eagles lord we thank you we praise you we glorify you see 
you Lord it is the best prayer that we ever make during these moments of adoration just keep on saying in your heart thank you Lord in the Bible in the old testament we see joseph who became a victim of jealousy of his dear brothers they tormented him in many ways but when he finally becomes the king of egypt he sees his brothers after a long time during that meeting joseph says to his beloved ones you did evil to me but god turned that evil into blessing sometime we may feel many happenings of our life are negative there could be situations experiences people things that we find quite difficult to accept to forgive my dear brothers 
and sisters. But as you make a prayer of thanks, God converts your pain, the evil that you experienced, into blessing. In these moments of adoration, if you find someone quite difficult to accept in your life, to give an unconditional forgiveness, it may be your husband, your wife, your children, your colleagues, your dear and near ones, maybe certain experiences, whatever it may be, just say to Jesus, Jesus, I thank you for that person. I thank you for that situation. I thank you for that moment. Maybe a bitter one. Maybe something that you find difficult to accept. Maybe a sickness. A dear child, in this year, in this moment, look at the Eucharistic Jesus in faith, said to him, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for everything that I underwent, for everything that I received. Because you're God, you never make mistakes. Your decisions are ultimately right. Lord, I thank you for all the decisions in my life. Lord, I thank you for all the choices that you made in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are my good God, my loving God. Thank you, Jesus. Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 41. Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. Jesus gave thanks and Lazarus rose from the dead. Brothers and sisters, when we make thanks and praise for every opportunity before God, what happens, you know, the situations, the opportunities that was dead in our life will be restored in Jesus' name.
Yes. Thanksgiving brings incredible restoration into our life. Now bring before Jesus the situations you feel lost. The moments you fail miserably in your spiritual life. the days you skipped your sacramental life our dear and near family members our friends whom we feel that they are away from Jesus lord we do see how amazingly you brought back the dead lazarus into life as dear jesus you are the life giver in you there is life in you there is restoration in you there is unending power you are omnipresent you are omniscient you are omnipotent you are the way maker you are the miracle worker you are the light in our darkness we bring before you all the dead situations of our life and we thank you lord and we praise you We glorify you. We lift your name. In your presence, that's where I am strong. In your presence, oh Lord my God. In your presence. Touching your grace In the cleft of the rock In your presence, O oh God In your presence
Gospel of Luke chapter 24 verse 15 And it happened that while they were conversing and debating Jesus himself drew near and walked with them but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him Lord Jesus when we look back to our life we do realize there are moments where we fail to recognize your presence your intervention your guidance it was our sorrow tension stress anxiety absent mindedness and many more that really prevented us from recognizing your living reality in the scripture we do see how you are lovingly following the disciples who were making their journey all the way from Jerusalem to Emmaus you went after them you raised questions to them you removed the sorrow of their hearts you brought them back to Jerusalem Lord Jesus we do understand it's always you Jesus you take the first step to bring back each one of us into your love into your relationship law You are a loving God. You are love. Lord, we surrender all our burdens, all our sickness, all our negative emotions, failures, addictions, pain of broken relationships book of psalms chapter 16 verse 1 holy spirit is asking us keep me safe for god in you i take refuge my dear brothers and sisters let us surrender all our burdens all our stress anxiety all our troubles everything into the heart of jesus let us surrender ourselves to god's tender care a body mind and soul and our whole life by relinquishing worry over things that cannot control book of james chapter 4 verse 10 reminds us humble yourself before the law 
and he will lift you up when you surrender you are making yourself humble you are letting god to control your life now it's moment to surrender your life into the hands of jesus when we surrender untold peace will surround our life when you surrender god takes control of our life when isaac was surrendered on the altar god took the control of the life of abraham brothers and sisters let us make an unconditional surrendering let us surrender everything at his feet jesus we surrender ourselves the members of our family our children everything we have into you jesus we surrender before you when we surrender god takes control of our life let us also surrender shalom ministry 
Salaam World Television Channel, SW Prayer Channel, Salaam Tidings, all the viewers of this program, benefactors, collaborators, Shalom Peace Fellowship members, well-wishers, prayer warriors. Let us surrender all the members from across the globe into the hands of Jesus. As we come to the end of the year 2022, let us be grateful before Jesus and ask the Holy Spirit for a fresh anointing as we march on to the next year. In the book of Acts, Chapter 2, verse 1 onwards, we do read, When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. Brothers and sisters, let us ask Jesus, the same Holy Spirit, a new anointing for the coming year to lead a faithful life, a holy life, a spirit-filled life as it will be given. Jesus, we ask you to shower your mighty anointing upon all of us Jesus, we ask you to touch us with your mighty presence of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we ask you to fill us with that tongues of fire. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, come and bless each one of us. Anoint us. Holy Spirit. Let your Spirit come. Let your Spirit come. Fall upon me now. Fall upon me now. Let your Spirit come.
moment look at the Eucharistic Jesus let us make that simple prayer once again thank you Lord let us hope that the coming year may be filled with more blessings with mighty anointing In silence, let us surrender ourselves, our family, intentions, and everything. Let us prepare to receive the final blessing. 